Welcome back to Digital Futures Education. Today we're going to talk about gamification in education. Gamification keeps students motivated, engaged, and excited about learning. It improves information retention and critical thinking skills. It's important when you're using gamification with students that you're using it for both assessment and instruction. It's going to truly motivate students to help perform. Gamification helps support student engagement by giving them meaningful activities and competition to help them retain information as you work with them in the classroom. In the coming year, you're going to see even more gamification in the ed tech learning space. There's no doubt that gamification is going to be added as additional elements into many platforms. It's expected that gamification is going to be integrated into ed tech products 20% more each year between now in 2028. Let's talk about virtual reality in the classroom. Virtual reality is the future of immersive learning. The current trend we're going to see in 2024 is with virtual reality having hardware components and the software components are going to help create much more deep immersive experiences for students. These experiences are going to be customizable and personalized for students. Advanced AI is also going to enhance the student experience. This is going to make the learning more adaptable and immersive for students. We're going to see virtual experiences and game-based learning come together, and it's gonna make an education incredibly engaging and effective at helping students retain content knowledge. We're going to see enhanced focus, virtual experiences, and AI-driven adaptable learning platforms. Amazing things to look forward to in the year 2024. And also, with additional new hardware and enhanced software experiences, students are going to have the very first opportunities to experience virtual hands-on experiences in the classroom to extend their skill set. Additionally, we're going to see AI take an ever-increasing role in all products. Companies are going to be weaving the power of AI into existing products, and you're going to see it in almost every single phase of education eventually. You'll also see it in every phase of the workforce eventually. Another trend to be looking out for is high dosage tutoring. This is high intense tutoring for small groups or individuals. It's an expensive strategy, but what it's meant by high dosage is that it's usually three times per week. Recent studies have shown that high dosage tutoring has produced the most results in math and reading skills with students. When you see results, you're gonna see a trend going in that direction. In 2024, we're also gonna see a renewed focus on students' mental health. One of the key strategies that we're gonna see more of in 2024 is the use of social emotional learning to tap into students' social awareness. This is ever so important in a time that online environments can be unsafe emotionally for students, particularly in instances of cyberbullying. And there's going to be an increased use of telehealth therapy to help support students with these issues. In 2024, we're also going to see an increased focus on career and technical skills and additional investments in this area. Student pathways are being created to help support them in developing the skills at the high school level moving forward into college and career opportunities. According to the National Student Clearinghouse, undergraduate enrollment of students is down 1 million students since 2019. There is a disbelief in some people's minds that that next level of education has the value it once did. Much of this has to do with the ongoing issues with student debt, but the pressure is on schools to better help students prepare for college and career opportunities post high school. This can be additional technical education, pathways to support them to go right into the workforce, or specific technology upskilling to prepare them for a specific targeted position. Thanks for checking out the video. Please check out the Digital Futures Education homepage and YouTube channel. I'd love to see you subscribe and get in contact.